Denver Pyle. Pyle was born in Bethune, Colorado on May 11, 1920, to farmer Ben H. Pyle and his wife Maud. His brother Willis was an animator known for his work with Walt Disney Animation Studios and UPA. After graduating from high school, Pyle briefly attended Colorado State University, but dropped out to enter show business. Pyle was a drummer and a band member until the United States entered World War II, when he joined the United States Merchant Marines. After the war, Pyle embarked on his film and television career. He played many bit parts on television series and movies before moving to starring roles in both mediums in the 1950s and 1960s. Pyle guest starred 14 times between 1951 and 1953 on the syndicated television series The Range Rider with Jack Mahoney and Dick Jones. Appeared as an outlaw in a 1951 episode of the television series The Lone Ranger entitled Back Trail, episode 71. The Outcast, episode 166, The Woman in the White Mask, and episode 187, Cross of Santo Domingo. In 1953, Pyle appeared as Emil Hatch in episode 46 of The Adventures of Superman, entitled Beware the Wrecker. He had a part in the 1955 Audie Murphy film To Hell and Back. Appeared twice on NBC's 1955 and 1956 Western anthology series Frontier. Pyle appeared twice as an unidentified bank robber in Duncan Ronaldo's syndicated western series, The Cisco Kid. In 1954, he was cast as a henchman of the outlaw Sam Bass in Stories of the Century. Pyle was cast as Carter in the 1955 episode Joey's Father on Fury. Three years later, he played an arsonist in the episode The Fire Watchers of the same series. In 1956, Pyle appeared as Vance Kiley in the episode called Quicksand in the TV western series The Lone Ranger. In 1958, Pyle starred with Judith Evelyn in the episode Man on the Moon of the NBC docudrama about the Cold War Behind Closed Doors, hosted by and occasionally starring Bruce Gordon. He appeared as a professor in the syndicated Men into Space series 1959 episode Moonquake. In an episode of Ripcord, he played a suicidal parachutist. Pyle appeared twice each on the CBS western series My Friend Flicka in NBC's The Restless Gun with John Payne. He guest starred with Grant Withers in the 1959 episode Tumbleweed Ranger of Trish Coffin's syndicated western series 26 Men, billed as true stories of the Arizona Rangers. He appeared seven times on Richard Boone's CBS western Have Gun Will Travel, his final appearance on the show in 1960 as a character Croft in The Puppeteer. He guest starred in 1960 and several other westerns, including Pony Express, The Man from Blackhawk, and Tombstone Territory. He guest starred in the episode Trail of the Dead, the story of five missing prospectors of Rod Cameron's modern western syndicated series, State Trooper. He appeared with Sammy Jackson in the episode Resurrection of the syndicated American Civil War drama, The Grey Ghost. He was cast as Big Red in the 1959 episode Woman in the River of the ABC Warner Brothers detective series, Bourbon Street Beat starring Andrew Dugan and Richard Long. He made several appearances as Briscoe Darling on The Andy Griffith Show. Pyle was cast in a number of Western movies by John Ford, including The Horse Soldiers, with John Wayne and William Holden, and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. He played a Tennessee soldier called Thimblerig in John Wayne's The Alamo, 1960. He played Sam Houston in several episodes of CBS's The Adventures of Jim Bowie. He guest starred as law enforcement officer in Jim Davis's other syndicated series, Rescue 8, and appeared as well in an episode of the ABC sitcom The Real McCoys. Pyle was cast in the 1960 episode Three Wise Men of ABC Stagecoach West as an outlaw who promises to turn himself into the authorities if he can spend Christmas with his family. About this time, Pyle appeared in the segment Lawyer and Petticoats of William Bendix's 1960 NBC Western series Overland Trail and thereafter in 1961 in Hand of Vengeance of the syndicated western series Two Faces West. Pyle was cast as Jed Corrigan in the 1961 episode of The Tramp of the NBC family drama series National Velvet. Pyle guest starred twice on the CBS series Route 66 with Martin Miller and George Maharis, first in 1961 on the episode The Newborn, and again in 1962 in A Long Piece of Mischief. He appeared twice as the father of the doomed family in the dystopian episode Black Leather Jackets of the Twilight Zone. In 1963, Pyle guest starred on The Dick Van Dyke Show as Uncle George in the episode Uncle George. He appeared in the 1963-1964 season of ABC's drama about college life, Channing. 
He portrayed the character Brill in the 1964 episode, Johnny Ride the Pony, 1, 2, 3, of the NBC education drama series, Mr. Novak, starring James Franciscus. Pyle appeared 14 times on Gunsmoke, 7 times on Dick Powell's Zane Grey Theater, and twice on Frontier Justice, all on CBS. He appeared in several episodes as Ben Thompson, and twice as other characters, on the ABC Western series The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. Pyle played the Frontier character Deadwood Dick in the 1966 episode The Resurrection of Deadwood Dick, on the syndicated anthology series Death Valley Days. He appeared twice in Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker. He played Sergeant Tripp in the episode The Enemy, of the James Arness ABC series, How the West Was Won. He's also known for portraying both the suspect and the murder victim on the last original Perry Mason TV episode, The Case of the Final Fade Out, in 1966. He was one of 11 actors to hit the Perry Mason trifecta, portraying a victim, a defendant, and the actual murderer in previous episodes on the series, which he did in five appearances. Pyle portrayed Grandpa Tarleton in all 26 episodes of Tammy in the 1965-1966 season. Pyle portrayed the vengeful Texas Ranger Frank Hamer in the 1967 movie Bonnie and Clyde. He also appeared in an episode of High Chaparral as a general who had lost his son. In 1968, he appeared as Titus Purcell, patriarch of a family of homesteaders, in the episode The Price of Tomatoes in the sitcom Gomer Pyle, USMC. He also directed The Great Diamond Mines on Death Valley Days. Pyle had a guest starring role in 1973 on the streets of San Francisco. He played as mayor residing in the town of Purgatory in the first season episode, Kung Fu, titled Ancient Warrior. He also appeared in second season episode, Cross Ties as a Doctor, in 1985 season 9 episode 8 of The Love Boat. One of Pyle's more endearing roles was that of Briscoe Darling on The Andy Griffith Show. Pyle played the patriarch of the Darling family, a group of sons, all portrayed by the Dillards, and one daughter, Charlene, portrayed by Maggie Peterson. He appeared in seven episodes, six written by the comedy writing team of Jim Fritzel and Everett Greenbaum. Pyle also played in Barnaby Jones in an episode titled Stalking Horse. Pyle played the role of Mad Jack in 36 episodes of the NBC series The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. He played Buck Webb, Doris Day's television series father, during the first two seasons of CBS's The Doris Day Show. He said in 1968 that he based his acting in that role on his father's personality. He did some writing and directing for the short-lived half-hour western Dirty Sally, starring Jeanette Nolan, which ran on CBS in the first half of 1974. He also played a small role on The Waltons as a relative to the Baldwin sisters. Pyle's best-known and longest-running television role was that of Uncle Jesse Duke in the CBS series The Dukes of Hazard. In his later life, Pyle played mostly cameo television roles and retired from full-time acting. His last film role was in the 1994 film Maverick. His last known acting role was as Jesse Duke in the 1997 CBS made-for-television movie, The Dukes of Hazard Reunion. Pyle sponsored Uncle Jesse's fishing tournament in Lamar County, Texas. In 10 years of operation, the tournament raised more than $160,000 to support children's programs there. First established in 1988, the tournament is still going strong and celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2017. It continues to support the children's charities of Lamar County. Within a few years of his final episode on The Andy Griffith Show, The Darling Fortune, Pyle began investing in oil, buying oil wells thought to be near the end of their working lifetimes cheaply at a time when the price of oil was $2.15 per barrel. By 1981, after new technologies allowed the remaining oil to be more economically recovered from the wells, and the 1973 oil crisis triggered a rise in prices to over $46 a barrel, he was very wealthy having made much more money from oil than his total earnings in over 30 years as an actor. He said that he continued to work as an actor because, I look at it this way, acting provides the cash flow I need for oil speculation. And besides, I like acting. It's fun. In 1955, Pyle married Merrilee Carpenter, a production assistant at 20th Century Fox. They had sons David and Tony in 1956 and 1957, respectively. Merrilee and Denver divorced in 1970. In 1983, Pyle married Tippy Johnston. That union lasted until his death. Pyle died of lung cancer on Christmas 1997. Memorial services were held January 6, 1998 at First Baptist Church, Waxahachie, Texas. He is buried in an unmarked grave at the Forreston Cemetery in Forreston, Texas. 
His remains are interred beside those of his second wife's parents.